and Biological and we're going to do a little video of how to distill lavender oil and we're going to be using our stainless steel distiller it's 20 liters and you can find those on pelletlab.com okay so we have everything pretty much set up and uh, I'll just go through a little basics of distillation what happens is we're going to boil water which is going to create steam the steam is then going to pass through this basket that sits in there and the lavender sits on top of that the steam travels through the lavender then the lavender oil with the steam travels up this and goes into the condenser the condenser has cool water going in and coming out which surrounds the jacket that contains the oil and the steam. So as it's cooled, it goes back into liquid form. And then we'll catch that, and eventually we'll be able to extract the oil from So the yesterday we went up to a local U-cut lavender farm, and we cut five bundles of lavender. It was very inexpensive, and quite a bit of lavender as you can see. All right, as you can see, we've stuffed the pot full of the lavender. We cut some of the stems off so that it would fit in there. Now there's water just below the basket, the basket, and then the plant material above the water. So now we're going to fasten the lid on. Comes with three heavy duty fasteners. It also has silicon gaskets all the way around that keep it from leaking. This unit, one of the nice things about it is you can put it on your cook stove at home, you can put it on a camp stove. We have a heavy duty stove here that we've brought in for this demonstration. So we have the stove lit. I'm going to go ahead and put the unit on top. Now up here we have a thermometer so you can watch the progress of the, the heating. And then here is a, an in-hose that brings cool water into the condenser. And then the cool water comes out this hose, and we've just got it going into a bucket. Down. Okay, as you can see, we had to move down to the floor. The, the burner is so heavy duty, it was about to burn a hole in the plastic table, so we had a major transition to the floor. But anyway, the temperature has gone up and up to now we have a boil and the steam is going up through the lavender and then it's condensing back in and we're catching it in the Meyer flask. Now as you can see, we've got this hose hooked up to the sink over here and all the hardware you need to hook this up to your sink comes with the unit and then we're draining the water into here. I also wanted to point out that it's a very small flow of water and what I do is I check the temperature of the water every now and then. And that's actually pretty hot right now, so I'm going to turn the flow up. If it was real cool, I would turn the flow down and use the least amount of water possible. All right, so we distilled the lavender for about an hour, hour and a half. We feel that that's the maximum time you need to do this. You might get a little bit more if you go longer, but the majority of the oil is removed in the first hour, hour and a half. Um, this is what we ended up with. Now there's oil and what's called hydrosol in here. Okay, so the next step is to separate the oil from the hydrosol. And to do that, we're going to use a separate oil. Okay, here funnel. we go. Now as this goes down and it gets narrower, you'll see the oil better and better. And then as it gets close, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to go until all the hydrosol is out and then stop it right when we get to the oil. Bam! Now I'm going to remove the hydrosol. Get the oil vessel. And here we go with the pure lavender essential oil. Alright, so after all of that, here's our 
lavender essential oil. As you can see, there's not a ton of it, but it's very concentrated. Two drops of this in the bath and it smells beautiful.